hey guys welcome back welcome back to my youtube channel um so we're going to be looking at um another form of better function but before i proceed to that form is actually the very very more easier and more more um time saving than the other formula we derived so um on our last video we we treated we had uh, a proof that the better of n right is equal to m minus 1 n minus 1 divided by m minus m plus n minus 1 and m plus n minus 2 times beta of m minus 1 and n minus 1 right and we we solved a question that says the beta of 4 and 3 is equal to 3 factorial 2 factorial divided by 6 factorial now this was was, was our answer so now we're, i'm going to be looking at another example so we can easily establish the form that we want to prove so let's look at this example example 2 you have to find the beta of 3 and 2 right now using this formula using this formula that we proved we can easily have it that the beta of 3 2 is equal to 3 minus 1 yeah where m is 3 and n is 2 right where m is 3 and n is 2 so we insert it into this formula 3 minus 2 times 2 minus 1 divided by 3 plus 2 minus 1 then times 3 plus 2 minus 2 then times b of 3 minus 1 2 minus 1 right then we can have this to be 2 1 1 divided by 3 plus 2 that's 5 minus 1 that's 4 times we can have this 3 plus 2 that's 5 minus 2 that's 3 then times beta of 2 and 1 so we also proved that the beta of 2 and 1 is 1 over 2 so we proved on our last video that the beta of 2 and 1 is 1 over 2. Actually, it's not only for 2 and 1. The beta of, it goes like this. The general um, forms goes like, it goes like this. The beta of k and 1 is equal to 1 over k. Right. So we proved that the beta of 2 and 1 is 1 over 2, right? So it, it doesn't actually apply, apply for only 2 and 1. It applies for other various numbers. The beta of k and 1 is 1 over k, which means that the beta of 3 and 1 is also what 1 over 3 the beta of 4 and 1 is also what 1 over 4 so going back to our question so we have here to be beta of 2 and 1 right then we can easily have this to be 2 1 times 1 over 2 right the beta of 2 and 1 is 1 over 2 divided by 4 3 and times 2 right so we can easily express express this to be a factorial right we can have this to be 2 factorial times this is one factorial right one factorial is still one then divided by four three two that is four factorial right four times three times two there's you can just add an invisible one here which is still the same thing so this is four factorial right so the the main point i'm trying to prove right here is that if you can really if you can look at all the answer we have been getting for, for example look at the first answer we got for beta of four and three we had this to be 3 factorial, 2 factorial, and 6, right? 6 factorial. Now, looking at the, the other answer we had for beta of 3 and 2, we had 2 factorial, 1 factorial, and 4 factorial. Now, we can easily derive a form that says the beta of mn is equal to m minus 1 factorial, n minus 1 factorial, divided by m plus n minus 1 factorial so this is more more easier because this this form yeah, this formula here will take us straight to our answer now how did i derive this one now if you look at the beta of 1 and 3 4 minus 1 is 3 and this is 3 factorial 3 minus 1 is 2 and this is 2 factorial 4 plus 3 that's 7 minus 1 that's 6 so we have this so this is technically saying this minus 1 factorial this minus 1 factorial equals 
this plus this minus one factorial so that gives me our answer just like we have for beta function you guys we have different solutions form you can easily express the sorry just like gamma function we have different solution form you can easily express the gamma function and so too we have for beta function so if you look at this beta of three and two here right here we have in beta um three three minus one that's two that's two factorial two minus one that's one factorial three plus two that's five minus one that's four factorial so this is the form we have established from that so now making use of this form now we can you can easily see this form takes us straight to our answer so this is our third form of beta function right so so um what this video is trying to say is that beta function based on our last um with our on our previous forms we've with our previous video on beta function we've established the following formulas we've established that beta of mn is equal to the integral coming from 0 to pi over 2 of sine of sine 2m minus 1 right theta cos cos 2n minus 1 theta d theta and this was our trig form we call this a trig form so we also establish a form that says the beta of mn is equal to um is equal to m minus 1 times n minus 1 divided by m plus n minus 1 and m plus n minus 2 all times the beta of m minus 1 and n minus 1 then this video we've established that the beta of mn is also m minus 1 factorial n minus 1 factorial divided by n plus n minus 1 factorial so we've established these three forms successfully from our uh, um, videos on for my videos on of, on beta function and we also have also established i also made um, a point that the beta of k comma one is equal to one over k that means the beta of three and one is one over three beta of four and one is one over four and so on and so forth so um this video make is trying to make an emphasis on this formula actually so um, thank you guys for watching and we see you on the next lesson on beta function